Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course Basics of Programming in C Language and in this tutorial video you will be learning a practical exercise on while loop. Okay, so as we have discussed in theory also that a loop is a statement that lets you to repeat some other set of statements a number of times depending on a given set of conditions. Okay. So where do you use loop generally? Loops are used whenever you have to perform the similar task repetitively. Okay, more than one times whenever you have to perform the same task. In that cases, you use the loops. So an example can be like you have to print the first hundred even numbers. Okay, so you will have to first take a number out of the various numbers and then you have to check that whether that number is even or odd and then you have to print it if it is even and if it is odd then you have to just skip to the next number okay so this set of steps you have to perform for all the hundred first hundred even numbers so but the steps are same okay only the different thing is the number so for these cases uh, you will use loops okay only the number will be incremented every time only the number will be changed you will just add keep on adding one to the number and then you will check that whether that particular number is even if it is even then you will print it and go to the next number if it is not even then you will simply go to the next number okay so now we should start our program the first thing is the basic thing that you have to include a header file okay so I'll just revise this particular thing that you have to include the standard input output dot h header file which is the header file that contains the statement for standard console input and output like the printf and scanf statements which we will be using in our program after that we have to begin our main function so int main the return type of the main function is always integer so that you have to remember in a c program the main function always returns an integer to the operating system and by default you should always include a return statement in your program because you know you might forget to do that at a later stage and in that case your compiler will report an error that your function which returns something has ended without the return statement okay so it's better to include it as soon as you write the rest of the function body so first of all you should include the return statement okay now Okay, first let me save this program so that I can also see the syntax highlighting. Let me name it as while.c. Okay, so now you can see that syntax has already been highlighted. So all the keywords are highlighted in blue. The hash defines and hash uh, preprocessor directives are highlighted in green colors. Okay, now what we should do is we will first study what is the syntax of the while loop okay the first thing is the keyword while first thing is the keyword while and then in brackets you have to enter the condition so here comes your condition okay now what your condition can be first you need a loop variable for the condition so let us take a loop variable let us name it as loop counter okay and initialize it to zero so now our condition would be loop counter is less than some number or you can have the loop counter is greater than certain number or something like that so suppose we have loop counter is less than 10 okay in this case our loop counter will start from zero and end at nine because it is less than 10 so nine is the largest integer which is less than 10 so it will be from 0 to 9 okay now this loop will execute till this condition given over here remains true so as soon as this condition becomes false this loop will stop executing okay so here is our loop block so whatever statements you give inside this block this particular block from this bracket to this bracket over here these set of conditions will be executed repetitively till this condition remains true 
as soon as this condition becomes false this will come out of the loop okay now inside the loop you will also have to increment your loop counter so this can depend on the logic but in a very simple logic you will just increment it by one every time okay in this case what happens is that your loop counter will get incremented every time you enter the loop so it will print the numbers from 0 to 10 so let us test this okay for a very simple basic loop program let us test this we will add a printf statement okay printf is a statement that lets you print anything on the console the first argument to the printf statement is z format specifiers okay format specifiers tell the compiler that what kind of variable is to be printed on the screen so what is the data type of the variable that has to be printed on the screen so our data type for loop counter variable is int so we will be printing a loop counter only so let us print it as this is iteration number and then we will print our loop counter variable so percentage d is the format specifier for integer this will be replaced by the value of loop counter so let us write our loop counter variable over here and we also need to print a new line after that so new line in c language is printed in the printf statement using the escape sequence backslash n so for more detail about format specifiers and escape sequences you can refer to our tutorial on the topic console input and output okay so for the time being i feel that our program is complete so let us try and save it and then compile it so let us see if it compiles successfully or not so it is right now getting compiled and yes so it has compiled with zero warnings and zero errors now let us try and execute the program okay so our program has now executed and we can see that it has printed this is iteration number 0 1 2 3 and till the ninth iteration it has printed all the numbers so it has executed nine times the same set of statements it has executed 10 times okay so as per our logic it has worked now what the flow would be that it will enter over here first it will initialize the loop counter to 0 then it will enter the loop condition first it will check the loop condition if it is true then it will enter this loop if it is not true then it will straight away skip to return 0 okay suppose this condition is not true it will straight away skip to return 0 but if it is true your control will enter this loop and it will repeat these set of statements till this condition remains true so first of all it will come over here it will print that this is iteration number and then the loop counters value so initially the value would be 0 0 would be printed on the screen then on the next line it will increment the loop counter by 1 okay this is the increment operator plus plus is the increment operator in C language what does it do is it increments the value of the variable by 1 so the value of loop counter will be incremented from 0 to 1 okay so now again it will go to the loop condition as soon as the loop ends okay then what happens is it will go to the beginning of the loop where it will again evaluate the condition loop condition and if it is again true then it will enter the loop block again but if it is not true if it is false it will exit the loop block okay so similarly now it will again check that the whether our loop counter is still less than 10 loop counters value after incrementing by 1 would be 1 so it is yes it is less than 10 it will again enter the iteration and this line will again be printed and it will be incremented again loop counter will be incremented again and this process will keep on continuing till your loop counters value becomes 10 because at that case this condition will turn out to be false and it will exit from the loop so for the numbers 0 to 9 this line would be printed and for as soon as its value reaches 10 it will exit the loop okay so now hope uh, this basic syntax of the while loop and basics of operation of a loop were clear to you okay we will be covering further more kinds of loops in our future videos and we will also be adding debugging tool to our concept okay so we will learn how to debug the code because 
loops will be better understood when you debug them line by line. So we will be executing our program line by line and we will actually see how the OS is executing your code, how, where your control goes and how your variables are incrementing. So all that process we will be seeing. Okay. So I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the video and uh, continue to watch the course basics of programming in C language.